there were women throwing babies over a barbed wire fence to American troops. Chilling. Chilling. I'm telling you, one of the biggest privilege privileges that anyone can have is being an American citizen. I'm telling you, or being a citizen of a Western country. Let, let's just keep it a buck. <music> Before we get into these topics, I'm going to need you guys to please like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. You know, the Taliban have been kind of walking around the area. They've been taking things over. They did say that um, they were offering amnesty to all people. So they seem to be extending a hand of peace, but you, know, you also hear reports of all that shady things going on behind the scenes but these days with the media you just never know because you don't know if this is just a justification for media to to report certain aspects of afghanistan so that people will feel justified to want to go back there that's just the thing you never really know there's no trust in the media anymore um especially when it comes to wars man and you just can't trust them um but again i credit biden for that move i thought it was it was way overdue it was way overdue um you know u.s foreign policy man it's i mean for, for what it's worth man it, it's at least it's only gotten better compared to the 90s and the 2000s you know where we were get constantly getting into wars fast forward to trump who didn't get into any additional wars and now the first term of biden we've, we're out of one one country so i think we're moving in the right direction there's still a lot of criticism to be placed on different things on how things might, might have been handled but i try to look at the big picture um and i i think i'm much more comfortable u.s troops not being there risking lives or having to carry out operations and putting lives of Afghans at risk. Um, now, the Afghanis that are there, one could argue that they're they're still going to be at risk to an extent with the Taliban. Uh, the Taliban have said that what they want to do is enact Sharia, and is, they're going to just enact Sharia law according to Sharia law. Now, what that's going to look like. You know, we still don't know yet. Yeah, so they want to enact Sharia law, um, which means you know, rights of women are are going to be hindered. That's for sure. Um, one other thing that I noticed though, in those aircrafts that were carrying all those asyl asylees or refugees or whatever you want to call them, that were carrying them to the United States, majority of them were men. I found that very disturbing because you think it would be mostly men and you know women and children for the most part you know but a lot of them were men and that was kind of disappointing something else that has been going on that people aren't happy about is the fact that uh they said there were a bunch of americans that weren't evacuated um i've heard different accounts i've heard as much as 10,000 now they've been evacuating them since then they've been having evacuations um how much how you know how effective those evacuations have been has been questioned in the media but again it's hard to really trust the media there were also some scenes really chilling scenes um there's a, like a little there's an airport that the americans control because they're trying to like get all their evacuate all their people there were women throwing babies over a barbed wire fence to American troops. Chilling. Chilling. I'm telling you, one of the biggest privilege privileges that anyone can have is being an American citizen. I'm telling you, or being a citizen of a Western country. Let, let's just keep it a buck. I think the problem is people don't really have perspective. Imagine being so desperate that you're throwing your baby over a barbed wire you're willing to take that risk as a mother 
that's how that's how fear works and i think a lot of us we haven't really seen what real suffering looks like we haven't seen what i mean yes we see violence all the time but sometimes you hear people talk about oh this is violence is violence on me your words are violence and i'm just like man we make a mockery of people that are going through it around the world i think people just need perspective sometimes i mean the uh, chilling chilling images of women throwing their kids over a barbed wire fence think about that please like share comment and most importantly subscribe